all bottles are caps some caps are covers no bowl is a cover so draw the diagram for this all bottles are caps all bottles are caps some caps are covers some caps are covers so i think we will use cp and cv right because both these start with c right so let's not confuse ourselves so all bottles are caps some caps are covers and no bowl is a cover no bowl is a cover so no bowl is a cover again let's say this is bt and bw okay so that's the basic diagram basic diagram for the given statements all bottles are caps some caps are covers and no bowl is a cover what did we ensure here we have ensured minimum overlapping right least encroachment of uh, different sets here right all bottles are covers anyway has to be done this way but when you say some caps are covers try to draw covers in a way that it overlaps only with caps right try avoiding overlapping with bottles there and then no bowl is a cover so no bowl is a cover can be drawn in this way now of course you can draw bowls on this side as well but like i said basic diagram should have minimum overlapping so we'll avoid doing that okay so try to keep it uh, as disjoint as possible right now look at the conclusions the first one at least some bottles are covers at least some bottles are covers now we have discussed this a number of times that at least some and some both mean the same right at least some is as good as some so don't get confused when you see at least being used in conclusions right at least some is as good as some so what do we say some bottles are covers the conclusion says some bottles are covers now do you really see that no when you look at the basic diagram you find that no bottle is a cover there's no overlapping between bottles and covers at all so can we say some bottles are covers no this is wrong conclusion number one is wrong look at conclusion two no cover is a bowl no cover is a bowl yes this is definitely true you don't even have to look at the diagram for this one because the statement was no bowl is a cover and the conclusion is no cover is a bowl we very well know that for no a is b the definite conclusion is no b is a right no a is b what's the definite conclusion no b is a no b is a so if he says no bowl is a cover definitely no cover is a bowl without even worrying about the diagram there so conclusion two definitely follows look at conclusion three all caps are bowls all caps are bowls now do you see this all caps are bowls no all caps are bowls not possible from the basic diagram itself you find that caps and bowls do not even touch right caps is here and then here are bowls there is no overlapping between caps and bowls so this particular conclusion all caps are bowls fails in the basic diagram itself and what's the thumb rule if a conclusion does not follow the basic diagram you can treat it as false right if a conclusion does not follow the basic diagram it is definitely false if it follows the basic diagram then you'll have to worry about the possible diagrams there okay so i think very clearly the answer is only two follows only conclusion two follows